So Light Cycle was founded in 2016. Uh, it was technology that was developed by RJ and myself. Uh, we've grown the company now from just the two of us uh, to over 360 people today. Uh, we have commercial operations in Canada and the US uh, and are now building out uh, across Europe. Lifecycle has over 20 uh, patents uh, registered around the world associated with both our pre-processing technology, so in terms of how we process those batteries, all the different formats, state of charge, manufacturing scrap, all the way through to, to black bass. Our technology is focused on a two-part process. We call it a spoke and hub technology, where the spokes are our pre-processing facilities, where we take in all different formats of lithium-ion batteries, everything from very small lithium-ion batteries all the way up to including electric vehicle battery packs. We process them uh, independent of the state of charge, which just basically means we can process very large batteries without having to dismantle or discharge them. Our process on the pre-processing side is all structured around what we call this submerged shredding process. The state of charge, the potential for fire, and then we're also able to actively treat the electrolyte. The, the byproducts, I mean black mass is one of three products we produce here at the spoke. We also produce low density plastic and, and metal foils. The second part of our process is what we call our hub. So we are currently building a refinery in Rochester, New York, uh, which is about 3,000 miles from here. And uh, there we'll be taking the black mass that we generate at our spoke facilities and converting it through to finished chemicals, including nickel sulfate, cobalt sulfate, and lithium carbonate. So this plant you're at is actually the first facility we're aware of in the world that processes full battery packs whole. So our whole objective, as Tim said, is to minimize the amount of times so that the operators are touching the batteries. And maybe you can't even disassemble. Maybe it's been in an accident, maybe it's been in a fire, so other groups can't handle those, we can handle those. Full battery packs on the conveyor, and then from there it's automated until the point that it makes a product. So that's, that's what's gonna start setting us apart quite a bit versus other recyclers. So ours is a water-based process, so we're using uh, what we call a neutralizing solution in order to process the batteries in and break it down to black mass. The black mass ends up being very similar to the black mass that you would generate from the high temperature process. The key thing though is that we're able to recover the plastics and we're actually also able to recover the electrolyte salt for its lithium content as part of the black mass, which is an important point. We chose that process because coming back to why are all these batteries being generated today, it's really for a greener, better future. Arguably, we cannot uh roll out electric vehicles without uh, efficient, sustainable, and sustainable means environmentally and economically sustainable, not just environmentally, recycling. They know that they don't want to be forever, you know, digging up the earth and getting uh, materials from the earth. The idea is to tap into the urban mine. And at Lifecycle, we're an urban miner. And that is the key to reducing the overall environmental footprint of an electric vehicle and that mainly revolves around the battery, the battery pack of the electric vehicle. And so when it comes to the recycling of lithium-ion batteries, lithium-ion batteries themselves are highly recyclable in the sense that the materials that are within the batteries make up a significant portion of the value, but you're also able to take those same materials and turn them back into materials that are equivalent to what we would mine and refine naturally. What that means is that there's no degradation of the material over time. And so in, 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 in nature, you can actually recycle that as many times as you possibly can. So it's effectively infinitely recoverable. We have a great relationship with the local community here in, in Arizona. In fact, we have a great relationship with the communities in, in all the jurisdictions uh, that, uh, that we operate in. At the same time, we're not generating all the air emissions that the traditional high temperature burning processes would. You know, we're not wasting water, we're not you know, making a mess effectively in what we're doing. 
We also work with the local universities, the local educational institutions, uh, and we try and get out into the community, we try and support the community. So I would say overall the acceptance of Lifecycle across North America has been excellent. We're looking to be the urban mining source, the domestic source of those critical ingredients for rechargeable lithium ion batteries and to provide that solution locally but do it in a global sense both between mainly North America, Europe, opportunistically into Asia Pacific and if we continue to, as we will continue to build out the way we are, that will then help stabilize a lot of the supply chain issues that are there in the market uh, and issues that our customers face. And long term, what that will help do, the whole objective of this, of course, do it good for the environment, make money doing it <laughs> sustainably, right? We have to be profitable, but also help to make electric vehicles uh, more proliferated into the economy. We want to be a global leader uh, in the processing of lithium ion batteries in order to recover the materials that are required to make new batteries.